In this video guys, I'm going to share with you 17 jobs which are highly in demand together with the salaries. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's dive straight into the video. You want to explore high demand jobs in Canada so that you can pick a field that has greater potential for job security and of course high pay. So let's start with the first one, registered nurse. When it comes to the most needed jobs in Canada, nursing may very well top the list. Two major factors are driving the demand for more nurses. The first one is that baby boomers are reaching retirement age. Roughly half of the Iran workforce is between 42 and 65 years old, plus a substantial number of Irans retire before the age of 65. The average retirement age was 62 in 2016. The second major factor that's driving nursing demand is Canada's overall aging population. Seniors and elderly people typically have higher health care needs. So as baby boomers continue to age, it's expected that the demand for medical care will grow, resulting in new jobs. Ontario nursing associations report that hospitals in the province face about 10,000 vacancies for nursing positions. Our rents are also increasingly important in Canada's small rural towns and remote communities. In areas where there is no or limited access to general physicians and family doctors, our rents often take on roles as primary care providers. Highest demand jobs provinces and territories, all except Saskatchewan and Newfoundland and Labrador where demand is fair. Okay, median hourly wage for you to start this job, you'll start by earning $37.60 per hour. All right, highest paying provinces and territories Nunavut, Northwest Territories, and Yukon. Typical entry level education, you'll need a bachelor's degree and a registration with a provincial or territorial regulatory authority. Moving on to the next job, truck driver. The Canadian economy relies on truck drivers, but there may not be enough young adults entering the trucking industry to fill the gap from retiring workers. Roughly half of the truck driving workforce is between the age of 46 and 65. So many workers will be retiring in the coming decades. Truck driving is near the top of the list for careers in demand in British Columbia. WorkBC predicts that the province could have about 13,336 truck driver job openings from between 2019 to 2029 and that's just one province dedicated transport truck drivers are needed almost everywhere to haul commercial goods from coast to coast it's one of the most important jobs in canada some areas depend on truck drivers much more than others for example residents of remote areas often count on truck drivers to bring them important products like food and clothing okay highest demand provinces and territories includes prince edward island nova scotia ontario quebec british columbia and yukon medium hourly wage is 21.67 dollars per hour highest paying provinces and territories is yukon northwest territories and alberta typical entry level education is completion of truck driver training must also obtain appropriate licensing and endorsements okay job number three college or vocational instructor Teaching at the college and vocational level is another one of the careers in demand in Canada, thanks in large part to growing retirement rates. During the 2017 to 2026 period, the country could be short about 3,500 instructors, and that number could grow as provincial federal governments continue to bolster the post-secondary system. College and vocational instructors teach at public and private institutions that provide academic, technical, and vocational programs. You could teach anything from beauty to criminal justice to culinary arts to design. You'll find that the education and experience requirements to be a teacher will vary greatly depending on the work setting. An academic focused institution will likely require you to have a master's degree, whereas a vocational focused institution may accept a diploma or bachelor's degree if you have extensive and relevant industry experience. Highest demand provinces and territories, Ontario, Quebec, and British Columbia. Medium hourly wage, $37.93. Per hour. Highest paying provinces and territories include Nunavut, Northwest Territories, and Alberta. Typical entry level education ranges from diploma combined with related industry experience to master's degree. Moving on to business management consultants. In an expanding global marketplace that's becoming increasingly competitive, it's more important than ever for businesses to be lean and productive. To achieve that goal, 
businesses often hire management consultants to help them due to an expected increase in the demand for professional consulting services combined with workers retiring and transitioning to other positions management consulting is one of the top jobs in canada today many people start preparing by earning a business related degree and then gain experience by working in a variety of different industries and positions but management consultants can also benefit from having training in areas like technology or travel, tourism and hospitality, depending on the areas in which they want to specialize. Highest demand provinces and territories includes BC, Manitoba, BC I mean British Columbia, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia and Ontario, Prince Edward Island, Quebec and Saskatchewan. Medium hourly wage is $36.55 per hour. Highest paying provinces and territories are Alberta, Saskatchewan, and British Columbia. Typical entry-level education is business-related diploma or bachelor's degree combined with relevant industry experience. Welders. Welding is one of the jobs in high demand, largely due to new job growth rather than retirement rates. The welding workforce is a little younger than many others, so the current retirement rate in welding isn't as high as in many other career fields. Due to ongoing advancements in the manufacturing sector, welders with high level skills are likely to enjoy better job opportunities than those with only basic skills. Welders who possess fitting skills can use a variety of techniques and can read plans and blueprints and expected to be in the highest demand. Highest demand provinces and territories is British Columbia and Prince Edward Island. Medium hourly wage is $25 per hour. Highest paying provinces and territories are Alberta, Newfoundland and Labrador and British Columbia. Typical entry level education is completion of vocational training or an apprenticeship program. Trade certification may also be required. Moving on to the next job is licensed practical nurse. Licensed practical nursing is among the most in-demand jobs in Canada for the same reasons as registered nursing. An aging population is placing more demands on the healthcare system and a retiring workforce is creating a need to replace workers. Although the licensed practical nurse workforce is younger than the RN1, a growing number of retirements is still expected in the coming years. Highest demand provinces and territories are British Columbia, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Quebec, and Alberta. Median hourly wage is $26 per hour. Highest paying provinces and territories are Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Manitoba. Typical entry-level education is diploma and registration with the provincial or territorial regulatory authority. Next job, occupational or physiotherapy assistant. Overall, the senior and elderly population is living longer and many of those Canadians want to enjoy a healthy lifestyle for as long as possible. Occupational and physiotherapy assistants often play a part in making that happen. Additionally, hospitals have moved toward outpatient care models to free up beds, so they frequently offer occupational therapy and physiotherapy services as part of that strategy. Highest demand provinces and territories are New Brunswick, Ontario, Manitoba, Alberta, British Columbia and Saskatchewan. Median hourly wage is $23 per hour. Highest paying provinces and territories are Saskatchewan, Newfoundland and Labrador and Alberta. Typical entry level education is diploma. Next job is software engineer or designer. Software engineering and software design are some of the top technical careers in demand. Almost 21,000 jobs are expected to be created in software engineering between 2017 and 2026. Some of those openings will be due to the need to replace workers who move into management, sales, or higher level engineering positions, but most of them will be due to new job creation. Highest demand provinces and territories are Saskatchewan, Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick, Quebec, Nova Scotia, Ontario, and British Columbia. Median hourly wage is $43 per hour. Highest paying provinces and territories, Alberta, Ontario, and Manitoba. Typical entry-level education is bachelor's degree. Next job, aerospace engineer if you are searching for high paying careers in demand then aerospace engineering could be what you are looking for along with industry growth jobs could also open due to workers retiring being promoted and moving on to other positions highest demand provinces and territories are nova scotia ontario and quebec median hourly wage 39 dollars per hour highest paying provinces and territories are quebec ontario nova scotia typical entry-level education is bachelor's degree and possibly provincial or territorial licensing next job industrial 
electrician. Electricians enjoy some of the best jobs in the skilled trades. Industrial electricians in particular are in high demand. In fact, from 2017 to 2026, up to 1,200 industrial electricians jobs could go unfilled because of a lack of qualified workers. That's due to a combination of workers retiring, taking promotions and moving on to other electrician positions and different careers. Highest demand provinces and territories, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island and Ontario. Median hourly wage is $33 per hour. Highest paying provinces and territories Saskatchewan, Alberta and British Columbia. Typical entry-level education is completion of vocational training or an apprenticeship program trade certification may also be required. Next job, aircraft pilot. Join the ranks of air pilots in Canada who enjoy some of the highest paying in demand jobs in Canada for the future. From 2017 to 2026, up to 4,500 positions may not get filled due to a lack of skilled workers. That estimate includes pilots as well as air traffic, marine and railway controllers. Highest demand provinces and territories includes Quebec, Manitoba, Alberta, British Columbia, and Yukon. Median hourly wage is $38 per hour. Typical entry-level education is completion of pilot training. Must also obtain appropriate pilot licensing. Next job, pharmacist. As the aging population requires more pharmaceutical help to stay healthy, an increasing number of retail stores offer pharmacy services, many on a 24-hour basis. The demand for qualified pharmacists in Canada will continue to grow. Another factor driving demand is the fact that many workers in this field are set to retire in the coming years. Highest demand provinces and territories includes New Brunswick, Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and British Columbia. Median hourly wage is $50 per hour. Highest paying provinces and territories are Quebec, Alberta, and Manitoba. Typical entry level education is bachelor's degree and registration with the provincial or territorial regulatory authority. Next job, psychologist, with more attention being paid to issues of mental health and wellness in all sectors of the population, psychologists will have one of the most in-demand jobs in Canada for the next five years. By entering this in-demand career, you could offer counseling and therapy to people struggling with depression, anxiety, and other chronic neurological conditions. You could also choose from a wide range of specialties, including child psychology, behavioral psychology, or cognitive psychology. Highest demand provinces and territories include Prince Edward. Edward Island, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Quebec, Ontario, and Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and British Columbia. Median hourly wage is $40 per hour. Highest paying provinces and territories include Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Nova Scotia. Typical entry-level education is master's or doctoral degree. Next job, steam fitter or pipe fitter. Factories and other industrial facilities update and retrofit their piping systems, start new industrial construction projects, and upgrade their sprinkler systems. These ongoing projects ensure steam fitting and pipe fitting continue to be in-demand jobs. Some employers report that it's difficult to find qualified workers right now, plus it's expected that the ongoing retirements of steam fitters and, and pipe fitters will add to the hiring difficulties already being experienced. Now, could be an ideal time for you to learn the trade so that you can work with sprinkler systems and piping systems that carry all kinds of substances including chemicals, fuel, steam and water. Your responsibilities could include laying out, fabricating, assembling, maintaining, troubleshooting and repairing a variety of systems. High demand provinces and territories are Ontario. Medium hourly wage is $36 per hour. Highest paying provinces and territories include Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Prince Edward Island. Typical entry-level education is completion of vocational training or an apprenticeship program. Trade certification may also be required. Next job construction estimator. Build Force Canada predicts that although the record growth of recent years may slow down, new construction projects in Canada are expected to continue at a moderate rates across the country. That means continuing opportunities for cost estimators. Companies are recognizing the growing importance of having effective cost controls in place to manage their bottom lines and that's what construction estimators help them do. By taking on one of Canada's highest demand professions, you can assess costs and prepare estimates and budgets for a variety of construction projects related to areas like architectural, electrical, mechanical, stru structural and civil engineering. Highest demand provinces and territories includes British Columbia, Nova Scotia, Ontario, and Quebec. Median hourly wage is $31 per hour. Highest paying provinces and territories includes British Columbia, Alberta, and Saskatchewan. Typical entry-level education is certificate or diploma. Canadian Institute of Quantity Surveyors certification may be required. 
Next job, veterinary technician or assistant. The animal health care workforce is a little younger than many others. In 2016, the median age of animal health workers was 33 years old. A lot of employment growth in the field will be due to new job creation in addition to a small number of workers retiring and others leaving for different positions. People love their pets. Canadians are willing to spend more money on them than ever before in order to ensure that they are healthy and well cared for. In 2018 alone, Canadians collectively spent more than $8.8 billion on their pets. So now may be an excellent time for you to join the animal care field and put your passion for animals to work. Highest demand provinces and territories includes Quebec, Ontario and British Columbia. Median hourly wage is $18 per hour. Highest paying provinces and territories are Alberta, Prince Edward Island, and Manitoba. Typical entry-level education is diploma. Registration with the National Provincial or Territorial Association may be required. And finally, dispensing optician. Growing demand for optical products has directly resulted in an increased need for dispensing opticians. Plus, the marketplace is highly competitive. So optometrists so optometrists and optical clinics and stores find it important to have knowledgeable and friendly dispensing opticians who can help them attract and retain customers. It's also anticipated that because of a growing and aging population, the demand for eyewear will increase. As a dispensing optician, you could work in eye care offices, clinics and retail outlets while assisting clients with their prescription eyewear and contact lenses. Your duties may include selecting, ordering and fitting those products as well as mounting lenses into frames. Such tasks were often assigned to administrative assistants in the past, but growing recognition of the importance of properly trained dispensing opticians has changed that, which has helped increase the demand. Highest demand provinces and territories, Nova Scotia, Quebec, Saskatchewan, Alberta and British Columbia. Median hourly wage is $24 per hour. Highest paying provinces and territories include Ontario, Newfoundland, Labrador, and New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia. Typical entry-level education is diploma and licensing from a provincial or territorial regulatory body. That's all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for spending time with me. If you've gotten value out of this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you all in the next video.